Two tries to nil. Hello, good morning, good afternoon and good evening depending on where or when you're listening to this. Welcome to another edition of Tackling Issues. Today joining me as always is my centre pairing of Stuart and Jared and this week we run through a British and Irish Lions squad which will be touring South Africa next year. Hope you guys enjoy the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. <laughs> As I'm you sorry. do. Um, welcome for uh, welcome to week five so far. Five weeks on the trot. Um, joining me as always on tackling issues is Stuart. Say what's up, Stuart. How's it? How's it? And Jay, Jay, how's you do this week? Hey, all good, man. It's amazing what uh, some antibiotics can do for you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't. Did you take uh, one now, Jay? Yeah, it's amazing. I can talk rugby now. You could talk rugby last week with it too, so I think it was yeah, no. an excuse with any. <laughs> yeah, but it wasn't easy. But it was, but yeah, I had I had to soldier on. Um. Anyway, so today we have decided to pick a British and Irish Lions squad. Um, we've reverted to the thirty-one man. I think we spoke before how difficult it was to to cut it down to thirty-one. We can see why they have such big squads when they do this. And they play a lot of games as well. Um, but it would be interesting. You, I don't know if you saw the, the article I post um, about there's a chance that it could possibly be cancelled or delayed. hope that doesn't happen. What's your thoughts on that? I think, yeah. I think money's got a big, big, big thing to do with this. I mean, Australian rugby is up in turmoil at the moment. And I'm not saying it's got anything the British and Irish Lions, but I think a lot of um, unions are, are are going to be struggling, especially South African unions. I think more than the UK or British ones. Um, so yeah, that'll be difficult um, to decide whether it can happen um, from a from a monetary standpoint. I'd I'd really like it to happen because I mean it's it's been going for so long and it's something that. Like avid rugby fans wait twelve years for, especially if you're in a country where the Irish, where the British and Irish lines are touring. Um, you you wait twelve years to watch one of these games. So I really do hope it happens, but it it is understandable if um, financially it can't. Cool. Um, so we're gonna get it started. Uh, we've uh, based our thirty-one men squad. We've broken down the <clears> positions. Uh, we are going with seventeen forwards, fourteen backs. Um, we are going with uh, five props to begin with. So um, who wants to get the ball rolling? We'll just go around the table, name our props, and then later on we'll see maybe pull the team unless all of ours are different. Um, who wants to start us off to, today? Um, yeah, okay. I will. I will. If that's okay with Jay. I mean, Jay can go if you want. No, you can go ahead. Um, all right. Well, I've gone. How my team's going to go is going to go loose, tight, loose, tight, and then 
my number five. So cool. as my starting loose head prop, uh, I've got Macro Vinopolo. I think he made our bench for current world team at the moment. Um, solid loose head prop. He's got a lot of experience. He's been on British and Irish Lions tours before New Zealand. I believe he was also in Australia. Um, he is getting a bit old, but he's not too old, I don't think, to travel from next year. Um, and I still think he is probably the best loose head prop outside of the Southern Hemisphere in the world at the moment. As we all agreed, Stephen Kitchoff's the best. Macro is probably going to be a bench. Um, so I've got him with my starting loose. Yeah, um, I have uh, the exact same as that. I think out of all of them, I did. I'll, I'll get to my my uh, my bench, my bench loose head. But uh, yeah, Mako was the start. Jared, what did you have? Yeah, had... I've gone. I've gone Maku as well as my starting loose head. Like, I don't, there's not much more I can say. Stuart's uh, Stuart's told everyone uh, exactly what he what a player he is, so not much else to say about uh, Vinopolo, definitely the starter. Now, Jay, who would be your top uh, tight head? Top tight head has to go to Tag Furlong from Ireland. Um, definitely. Um, <clears throat> Carl Sinclair was pushing him for that starting position, but I think as a starter, Tag Furlong has to has to start for me at tight head. Yeah, 100%. Rikishi. Yeah, no, I agree. I went, I went Tad Furlong as my starting tight head as well. Um, yeah, just a phenomenal rugby player. Also, I think he's, he didn't, I mean, as Jay alluded to, Ireland didn't have the greatest sort of 2019. Um, and he did dip a little bit in form, but on any given day, he, 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 he can make a big difference. Yeah. Um, I agree with that. I'll go with my loose head on the bench, and this is all Stuart's fault. Make me look at uh, watching a lot of Scotland. Um, but uh, Rory Sutherland, good shot from Very Scotland, shot. Edinburgh. Um, I've watched a lot of clips, and this guy can can really move. He's good with the ball, decent scrummager as well. Um, not well little spoiler, but we'll get to it. I've got quite a few Scots that I looked at, but we'll get to that later. Um, who did you go with on the bench, Jay? As yeah, your... I, have, I have the same, yeah. Same as you guys. Oh, wow. Yeah. Jeez, that's <laughs> interesting. I thought, yeah. I thought when when I put Rory Sutherland down, I thought I was going to get grief from <laughs> left, right, and centre. No, I, I rate him. Guys are going to go like, oh, he's only got six caps. How could you choose him? Like, I rate this. Oak. He is such a good ball carrier for a, for a, yeah. for a loose head. No, he's he's very good. I, I do rate him. And and I put a lot of effort into, uh, with no disrespect to Scotland, I just put a lot of effort into my selections of Scottish players because I didn't want to leave too many out. Uh, they, they always only have a few, so we have to get the good ones. And definitely a great bench player for me. Um, there were some other options, but um, I feel sorry for for Kian Healy. For me, age, he's playing great rugby. Yeah, age, age, age is age. he's on the wrong side for me. And and Jack McGrath age for me as well. Yeah, Jack McGrath just hasn't been able to nail down a, a position um, in the Ireland team. I do, I do rate. Um, Jack McGrath as well, but both of them couldn't make my squad even. So, yeah, I'll let you mm. crack on with the next next tight head. Well, I think I think the tight head is go- well. Just going back to that, I think with this, or at least I think with my picks, I think a lot of it is trying to think of how the players or how they will attack the South Catlin attack the the Springboks, and not only that, I try to go for my squad with like a mixture of bit of experience and a bit of youth. But we'll no, you need that. that definitely with a long tour, um, especially because obviously they're traveling north to south. It's, it's, it's different hemispheres, it's different cultures, it's different climates, um, especially when you come to South Africa where we've got uh, coastal and we've got, you know, the high felt where the altitude is just immense. Um, and after sort of like 56, 60 minutes, um, some of the fittest oaks, fittest rugby players in the world, up in the 
in the altitude. Um, so I've gone with somebody that is so dynamic off the bench uh, as my uh, backup tight end, and it's Carl Sinclair. Yeah. Yeah, with that his, energy, his energy, his aggression. I think somebody like that, especially in like a, a high felt match in Joburg or Pretoria where where the air is thin and the altitude is big, um, somebody that's that sort of energetic and explosive coming off the bench would, would, would definitely help 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 a team. Yeah, 100%. Without a doubt. He's, well, there's, there's not many props that can score 45-meter trials. And he's no. one of them, so... Yeah, no, he's an absolute monster. Uh, a lot of people argue that he could possibly push Tag for a long, but I just, like you, you alluded to, that he's just, he's, he's more explosive, so having him come off... That's I the mean, thing. Not... Nowadays, yeah. rugby's about the, the match 23. It's no longer just a 15-man game, the best 15 yeah. play. You need exactly. to have that. You need to think about how you, you're going to last in the last 20 minutes that's why the all blacks are so devastating because they can come back at you and win games in 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 the last quarter so we have to they're going to have to do something to to like Stuart said combat the the half fault otherwise they're going to suffer yeah because i honestly don't mind having tad furlong you know for 50 56 60 minutes you know going at it and then and then bringing Sinclair on for twenty minutes just to absolutely run right. <laughs> yeah, it'll yeah. be it'll be it'll be a good uh, a good bench, definitely. Yeah. Um, Stuart, who was your your extra, uh, your fifth prop? My extra prop, yeah, was was actually Jack McGrath. I didn't okay. I didn't think he and Healy would fit. His age kind of doubted me a little. I, I mean, I, I rate the Oak. He is phenomenal. But what, he's like 33, 32, 33 now. Um, I don't think he's going to make the tour, to be honest. Um, I'm not thinking on, on just on what I'm going to choose, but also who's actually able to make a tour like this next year. Um, Jack McGrath's still young. He's, he's sat behind Healy for a long time. So he's he's, he's definitely got that that experience. Um, and I think him coming off the bench or, or not even just off the bench, but him being able to pair up with Tad Furlong would, would help him a little bit. Um, and I rate him. I rate Genge as well, to be fair. Um, yes. So I went with Ellis Genge on the bench. Yeah. I just I like rate his Genge impact. Well. And I like, I think they need a few of those guys like Sinclair and Genge in the team because they're going to have guys like Etzebeth targeting in them and they're going to need some guys that just don't give a shit. <laughs> they're going to have, they're going to need, need someone like that. Definitely. No, true. True. But I, I thought, I thought having like a Sinclair Mako, he's also a bit of a hothead. I think just having, you know, like three sort of really aggressive play, play rugby sort of borderline legal to illegal if I just they, thought maybe it's a little bit. If they want to beat be us, in, if they want to beat us in South Africa as world champions and playing good rugby under Rusty, they're gonna have to come with some attitude, man. They're gonna need guys that are gonna get stuck in. Yeah, they might get penalties away, they might get a yellow card, but they're gonna have to put it all out there and and not stand back. So it'll be most, most be of the time yeah. they usually do. Yeah, most of the time on these on these tours they do give everything. I mean, the amount of injuries that occur, they literally put it all out and it happens once every four years. Yeah. Um, I actually went opposite. I did go for experience. Um, obviously, we're doing this. What's when's, when's it scheduled? We're more than or just about a year out supposed to happen, so more than a year. You're in a bit, yeah. Yeah, so... Well, next month, because can... it'll be about June... June, July next year, that'll happen. Who did you go with, Mori? Kian Ely. Yeah, okay. I went, I went with experience. Um, but pretty much our first four is exactly the same. So that's a good start. Mm. Um, hookers, we... I think... Sure. Prof- hookers was hard for me. It was hard. This is probably... Yeah, hookers is, one was easy, the other two were, were, were difficult. 
Um, so the one is obviously, I think, probably going to start your three test matches. Jamie George. Is that correct? Correct? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That? yeah. I've got George as my I've starter, and then I've got two youngsters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we spoke about George last week. Our current. Um, he was on the bench, I believe, in our current three. So. Or we selected him at the end on our bench. Jay swayed us, but uh, yeah, he's, he's fantastic. Again. No, I mean he is, he is, he is absolute. He, he's such a good hooker; it's ridiculous. Indeed, he um, deserves it. He's waited a long time, and, he, and yeah. he he waited, and he got given, and he got given the starting role for the Lions, not even England. He wasn't a starter yeah. for England, and then. I think he wasn't and... even selected. But was that was that down to his discipline? No, it wasn't. Hartley. No, I don't Hartley think just he just got was... bounced from the squad don't... completely, and they took um, and they took George, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah, that says a lot. No, no, no Jamie went... George is without and a doubt. Start, and then he ended up starting for Lions. Uh, Gatlin saw something in him, and then what didn't take long for Jones to realize too. Yeah. Yes. No, exactly. Was that around about the time when um, Eddie Jones just took over as well? Or am I thinking? I think no, a I little think bit after. Eddie Jones no, was... took over right after the World Cup. So Eddie Jones took over 2016. Mm. Ended 2015-16. So he still had Stuart Lancaster got sacked. So he, he had a whole had year a... in 2016 and 2017. Half, half a year 2017 before Jamie George went over to the British Irish Lions. That's the reason Gatlin's coming back. He obviously <laughs> sees things players that we don't. Um, oh, this is his third tour, eh? This is this yeah, is, and, this is this and, is huge. This twelve years. To be fair, he's um he beat he won Australia, he drew in New Zealand, so it's been pretty good. Yeah. But That's been great. He's, now he's gonna lose. It's just unlucky <laughs> he's gonna go out like that. I hope it ends like that. <laughs> no, um, I'm joking. We don't know. We'll see. But well, he's, Dave, he's only got he's only got one win, one series win, because that because that was a draw against New Zealand. But what? But to go to New Zealand and draw is phenom- phenomenal too. So no, I mean, you don't. He's really nobody big. draws. I mean, there's 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 huge comparisons all over the world. I think yeah, but... America uses it the most. That a draw feels like you're kissing your sister. <laughs> yeah, but <laughs> it, it, but in, means in nothing. But before him, the the Lions were in winning tours. The last tour they won no. was in South Africa in ninety seven. Ninety seven, yeah. So it, they went a long time without winning until get, they brought Gatlin and then he went to Australia and won, and then he sure. went to New Zealand, and no one gave them a chance in New Zealand. And to be fair, no, I thought they, they could have won I, that I series. Did not, I did not think it was going to be a draw. Um, <laughs> if they if if they had walked away two one defeat I would have been impressed mm. and if it was a uh, game in New Zealand I would have been impressed. team was the team was quite injury ravaged that that series as well a, mm. a bit not a lot but a bit um Stuart I remember we watched the we watched the third game where they drew and we were yes. complaining like <laughs> yeah okay, I was I livid can... <laughs> it should have gone to extra time I mean they did it in the 95 World Cup they did it, I believe, in the 99 World Cup. You know, I'm not saying this is a World Cup, but both of these things only happen every four years. So, you know, kind of play it the same way. It's just tradition. It's how, it's how the Lions tours have been played for years. Yeah, but nobody, Maybe something. You don't draw in rugby. This isn't soccer. <laughs> Or football, you don't draw. It's just, it's not, it's not supposed to happen. Although we <laughs> tend to draw a lot against Australia. Hey, remember, I think it was about three years ago we drew against them twice in the rugby championship, both games, home and away. We drew against them. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. We ever put money on that at the beginning? Uh, South Africa is going to draw with Australia in Australia and in South Africa. It's a multi, multi, multi millionaire right now. It's like <laughs> a big commodity at drawing rugby. Um, it's just, it just doesn't happen. So, Jay, who's your your backup? So I've to gone Jamie with, George. So I've gone um, with two youngsters. Um, I feel uh, I feel that 
it's still another year to go, and they're going to grow in, and hopefully they get to get the game time that are that that they deserve. But I've gone with um, a former flanker who plays for Elster, Dave Heffernan. I've gone with him okay. as my backup, okay. and then I've gone with a a, a twenty one year old um, in Dewey Lake from the Ospreys from Wales. Um, he's just joined the made the Six Nations squad in in February, um, and he, yeah, they they look really good youngsters coming through, and just they just need the game time. I don't. It was hard for me to try and select all the players because I don't rate them. To be honest, there's no one that I really rate in in UK. Um, I'll see who you guys have chosen, but I try to look at different um, different options, but it's not easy. Not easy. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. Who did you go uh, with? So, funnily enough, um, I researched. Obviously, Hook is quite a bit. Watched a lot of videos. Um, really, really liked Dewey Lake. Mm, I just think he's got potential. I was watching a lot of clips on these hookers, and um, I was I was definitely flirting with a few. Dewey Lake, I think he's. He's very explosive. Young mm. boy, a lot of energy, solid in the loose. I like him. Um, and I actually went, he he was my third choice. Oh, I'm glad my you second choice him. coming off the bench is Luke Cowan Dickey. Um, okay. I like the dude. He's aggressive. He's, uh, I've, I've got, I've got I've quite an English him, squad though. I've, I've got Macro, I've got Carl, I've, I've got um, Jamie George. So having somebody that's familiar with these oaks that scrums with these guys quite a bit, you know, I've got Kyle coming off the bench. Um, mm. Yeah, but you can't, good, select, it, can't select the whole England team. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not selecting the whole England team. But well, basically, the whole front, the guys, all, there's I, like not one front row member that you've left out. Uh, no, I have, I have, I have, I have. What, left Ellis out, um, Yeah, and what was that dude that... Uh, I grabbed Alwyn Jones's nutsack the other day. Got <laughs> yeah, a but he's, band. yeah, but he's getting old now. Well, he's not that old, but yeah, Marla. Joe Marla. Yeah, Marla. Oh, yeah, Joe Marla. There we go. Great. <laughs> he's, he's, he's solid. But no, um, I just thought I can't, I can't go with Jamie George and then two like really inexperienced Oaks because Jamie gets injured. Uh, this is this is going to be this is going to be tough for them. So at least yeah, Luke Cowan no... he's played with these oaks. He's got close to thirty caps. You know he's, he's not good enough. Like five he's tries good, in England. He's not good enough for the Lions. Do you do you really think he's good enough to be in the Lions squad? As a, as a as a part of the match twenty three as well. I don't think so. As a I backup, think... yeah, I do because oh, uh... I I think Ken Owens is too old. Number yeah. one, and I think the other oaks are too young. It's a, oh, age okay. doesn't matter. It's how how good you're on the field. Look how young Carter yeah. was when he when he um when he played for the Lions. I mean, for the against the Lions. No, true, and it's good that 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 this is like a mock up squad, and not they won't be selecting the squad a year out because yeah. I I'd, I'd love to see more of an oak like Dewey Lake play. Because um, who knows? Like he could, he could easily be my my second mm. choice. I mean, he needs the game time, though. That's the thing. I need these guys to have the game time. I can't pick on what I what I presume they'll well, be good in a year's time. He's been pulled into the into the Six Nations squad as a um, straight up, and he was with the under twenties recently. So he's been pulled into the senior squad. So there's a, they're obviously watching him. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. and so are you, so am I. I think there's there's huge potential with this oak, and I mean he's he's like twenty twenty one years old. He's 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 still mm. young. Um, yeah, yeah. So I'd I'd love to see this oak in a year with you know five six Welsh caps, like an end of tour type you know caps, and see how he gets on because I think he's he's got massive potential and. I included him in my squad because I do rate him. Um, and I also think Ken Owens is too old. I would never have chosen Ken Owens. I don't think he's good enough for the Lions. 
I don't think I, I don't think many of the hookers are good enough. That's why, unfortunately, we left with picking youngsters that uh, that have potential. Yeah, we've got Jamie George and two that are going to be fighting for the second and third spot. I think yeah. Luke Cow and Dicky will be one of those, to be honest, because he gets he gets decent amount of game time. The other Oaks don't. He gets good game time. I don't Jamie think George enough, doesn't though. play eighty minutes. Morning. Who did you go with? I went um, with uh, as backup. Well, Cohen Dickey was my extra, my squad player. I would pick him as my third. And my second, I actually took um, McAnally from Scotland. Okay. In terms of his versatility, he can play loose forward as well. So he can, because we had to narrow it down to a 31 man squad, I looked at a lot of my players at versatility as well. I'm not saying necessarily he's gonna, he will be considered as a loose forward, but you know, with, oh, it's uh, possible. I mean, Stoke Brits was taken to the World Cup as a hooker and ended up captaining South Africa at eighth match. So exactly. So you never things, know. In, things can happen. Would they play like uh, if they have a tough, a tough schedule over like what's it a month? So he could slot in there, but that was my my three. So Jamie George, Cohen Dickey, and then um, McInerney from Macanelli. Scotland. All right. Yeah, I agree with. Bad jobs, I, think, bad I, jobs. I think both of you. I I agree. Cohen Dickey's maybe a little bit on the young side, but uh, we'll we'll get to see. We won't know if they play any more rugby this year, but hopefully they do, for for my sanity's sake. Um, lock pairings. Yeah, um, it's going to be, well, I, I, I can't see foresee any other two starting. Um, my number one and two locks is Itoje and um, Mario Itoje. Again, versatility, play lock, can play, um, can play that six at all. And then Alawin Jones. And I would probably, just for the experience, what's this, like his third or his fourth? I'd actually no, start those two. Third? Probably is third. Be, but yeah, um, I, I floated I with chose, a lot of players. He wouldn't be my. He wouldn't be in my squad. I never chose him. He wasn't in my squad. Age, age is, is, is a big factor for me. He's thirty. He's, he's thirty five this year. I think yeah. 34, 35 this year. He'll be. He, I don't think he'll make the plan. To be honest, I mean, solid lock. Don't get me wrong. Uh, Oak's got a, a lot of caps for Wales, and, and he's he's an amazing player. Um. I can't choose him in my squad because I th- I think of of age and uh, he's he's I honestly don't think he'll make the plane. Um, I went with Itoji as a starting, like you said, lock and and he, he can play um, overside. Yeah. And um, I went with uh, James Ryan as my second choice lock. Yeah, that was nice. Nice pick. Is that your four and five? That's my four and five, Toji and James Ryan. Yeah, that's 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 exactly mine. James Ryan's phenomenal player, man. I can't oh, remember, a, can't remember what the stats player. were, but he he played he played something like nineteen matches or something for Ireland or something without losing. And yeah, then he... I think I think they finally lost to somebody. I can't remember who it was, but he's brilliant. Yeah, he was a big part of it as well. Ball carrying. Is... Mm. And he's so young. Yeah. Yeah, he's young. He's got so much energy. He's so good around the park, so athletic. Uh, I've rate James Ryan massively. Well, J- James Ryan was actually my my third choice, if you will, to come off the bench. So James okay. Ryan is, is definitely there. He's, I think, as well, at least all the Irish players that I took all come from Leinster and stuff like that. So I also thought of Jalling. I think most of the players that took came from Saracens. I'd be happy to, all know. to have to have Ryan off the bench too. If I'm looking at impact, he's someone that can come off the bench. Imagine him joining Sinclair. He could they could have a yeah, great the two, the two of them running off the bench. My well, my other two two locks I went with George Cruz. Mm-hmm. And uh, it was very tough, but ended up taking Courtney Laws ahead of Joe Launchbury. Yo, we've got um, okay. the exact same blocks. So I went Courtney Laws because he covers, because he, I know, I know Toje can cover um, 
opens a blindside flank, but um, Courtney has been playing there recently for England. Um, yeah, and yeah. hasn't done that bad. So I've only gone with one blindside uh, flanker. So it helps to have. For me, that's what what um, got him into the team at at lock ahead of launch is the fact that he can play flank. Yeah, no, I I, I agree, and I went with Cruz as my second choice, and I went with Courtney Laws as my other lock. Uh, and I and I do hope that, that they take play blind. And I do hope they take more than, more than. Uh, they t- I do hope they take a few more than just thirty-one players. But to be obviously, no, they will. They definitely they will. Hundred percent. And I, and, I, and I hope, and I hope Launchbury gets a uh, gets it because he's also been let down and dropped for, um, for so many um, so many games for England. Uh, but it's just due to the the competition that's out there. Yeah, and I mean having Courtney Laws on your bench. You get a, a flank injured, you can bring him on. You get a lock injured, you can bring him on. He, he, exactly. He's very versatile. He, he's so athletic. That tackle that he did on Jules Pisson where he folded <laughs> it in half, like I'll never forget that. I oh. think I'll be 80 years old one day and I'll still be talking about that tackle. It was, <laughs> Sit, it was incredible. Sitting yeah. on the porch just chuckling. <laughs> oh, it was um, an amazing tackle. I, I went with Courtney Laws as my, uh, my backup. So he's in my squad as well. Again, the versatility, the fact that he can play that six at all, and he has played that six at all more recently. So, okay. um, so you didn't take yeah. Cruz? No, I didn't take Cruz. Flirted okay. with him. I got a lot of special mentions, but uh, we'll get to that later. Okay. Um, flanks. Who wants to start off with the flanks? I played around a lot with this, but uh, right, we'll, or loose we'll... loose forwards at least, but. We'll give it Shot to you. These forwards is tough, eh? We'll let you go, Moni. So, um, it's difficult, but um, as my six, this guy can actually play anywhere, but I just think you have to have, we talked about him, I know he's getting on, but CJ Stander. Yep, I've I would. CJ is my six. CJ. Yeah, and then uh, at seven, I have, um, again, I looked a lot, this was a pick more with stats and what he did last year in the Six Nations. Uh, Hamish Watson. Yeah, so did I. From Scotland. Um, and then my eighth man. I can't, I can't have considered him last year, uh, last week and not put him this week. Uh, but Billy, if he's fit. But yeah. I do I do say there's a big toss-up. If I can just run through who I would put on the bench. Um, Faletau from Wales. Toby, yeah. Just uh, sort of, if Billy is not there, like, or if he doesn't make it because he's injured, like you guys mentioned a hundred times last week, um, then he would probably start for me. Or CJ can probably play eight as well. Yeah, that's the good thing about having CJ in the squad. He covers all three. Yeah. And mm. he's got that leadership uh, ability as well. Here's a interesting thing. Uh, just to stop for who would you guys have? I know we're still going through the team, but not to spoil anything. But who would you guys have captain as captain? Mario Toji. You would have Itoji right now as captain. I'd have Itoji right now as my captain. No, I, he hasn't captained the Saracens a lot. He's captain junior level. I, I wouldn't have him in there. For me, for me, it would be CJ Stander. But I know they won't give CJ a captaincy because he's souring and born. But I'd have CJ as a captain or continue with Owen Farrell. Owen Farrell's not a captain for me. He's done well with England. Yeah. yeah that's that's yeah, the debate no. I had is is whether to give the, the Farrells. Again, I had the same argument as you, Jay. CJ would probably be the, the one that stands out for me. But again, South African born, going to South Africa. Who's going to captain? That's one of the reasons I mm. Alwyn Jones as my five. Gonna be inter- I've, gonna, uh, he's too. He's too old. I, I feel he's too old to make the squad. Yeah, I'd be. I'd. I'd be shocked if he made the plan. And if he makes he's it, he's going to be like thirty-five, thirty-six next year. I, I don't. I can't see him being captain either. No. No. Okay, no. Jay, who who did you um? Who was your loose forwards? So I've got CJ at six, starting at six. I've got mm-hmm. Billy at eight, and I've gone mm-hmm. with someone that 
that none of you guys have gone with, but I've gone someone that I rate highly, and that's Josh Navidi. Yeah, I've got him. I rate that guy. And, he's my, and I rate him as a starter. Um, jo- but remember, Josh plays a lot at six there. Eh? Mm-hmm. Well, at blindside, but they, but they, they've got two. They, they sort of like Australia. They play their guys. They pl- played sort of two open siders. He's yeah. to me, he's more of an open sider than a blindside in in his build and his mold and the way he plays. I agree. I agree. I agree. But like oh, all the all the all the stats, all the research, or whatever, like that, Josh Navidi came out at six, like a lot more than he came out at seven. But just of where he plays, which I don't but necessarily agree with. But it's, it's only because they to fit him in the squad with um oh forget the guy's name. I've never rated Justin him. Justin Superich. Yeah, it's because of yeah, him. Yeah. Um, that they have no, that's true. In. That's true. Uh, but anyway, I've yeah. gone with gone with I've gone with him, CJ, him, and Billy, and I've Billy's gone starting. with Felatel in the squad. Um, mm-hmm. come in, and he'll definitely be the bench player off the bench. And then I've gone with Sam Underhill as the as the extra loose forward. That guy's a beast, okay. man. I really rate him. Okay, Stuart, who did you go with? I I rate I rate Underhill as well, but he he didn't make my squad just off the versatility of the other flankers. Um, you guys I both took Watson. I don't really rate Hamish Watson. I rate Hamish Watson. I went not with as, Watson. Definitely not, not as, as my starter. starter. No, 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 no. Oh, you haven't chosen him as your starter? No, no, no. So my starter okay. is CJ at six, um, Josh Navidi at seven, Billy Vinopola at eight. And I've got Tom oh, so you... Curry and Hamish Watson as my as my other two. Tom mm. Curry is... is he, I don't rate Tom Curry. Player. You rate I rate him? Tom Curry. Yeah. No, I've, no. I've, I've, I've taken Tom Curry as well. Not for Lions. I think he's, over, I think he's overrated, man. Uh, he's oh, like another, no. he's... I rate Curry big time. Nah. No, I've got Curry they can play six. I've got Hamish they can play seven. I've got Billy they can play eight. I've got CJ they can play six, eight, maybe seven. And I've got just Josh Navidi that can play uh six and seven. And then I've got Courtney Laws and Itoji. So I'm covered big... for 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 um I'm surprised you guys took Hamish Watson, seven. both of you. That's oh, a I yes rate for him. us. I think I'm I think he's very good. It's Stuart's no, fault from uh, making me, making I don't think me he's, um, I don't think talk he's about Scotland so much. He looks, good in, he looks good in a in a Scottish team. Yeah, but I like again, this like I said, a lot of these picks. Some of them was straight away on the page, wrote it down. Others were um, you had to think about sort of the experience or the 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 youth then. Some of the picks were stats, and he was the one that I went with on stats. Hamish Watson and Tom Curry. See, my toss-up was Hamish or or Toby, but I just figured with Billy they can play eight, and CJ they can play eight. I don't need another eight. So you rate Tom Curry better than uh, Underhill? Yes. Never. I I can't believe that. Wow. You I mean, they play completely two two completely different positions. No, they don't. They play the same position. Tom Curry plays play, six. Plays six and Andy plays seven. Play seven. Yeah, but he's he plays he plays an open side role. He doesn't play the the blind side kind of seven. He's a he's an open side flank. He's not a he's not a John Smith or that kind. He, they play two when they play them together. They're playing two open sides in that England squad. He's not a. He's not a, a a traditional blindside flanker. Maybe not. Maybe not a specialist, but I think. Well, Eddie's Eddie's playing him in that role because he wants him, they want both of them on the field. But he's, but his his role is he's the same as uh, Navidi. They they open side flankers, but they're so good they can't leave them out. Oh, I just rate Navidi more than him. That's they're both um... good. It was it was t- for me. It's tough, but they're both. They're both very good players. Can't argue with that. I'm happy you guys went with Billy um, this week. You can't um, leave Billy out. Yeah, he's 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 class. He just if he can if he can stay on the field, 
then yeah. you know completely different story but the guy just doesn't seem to be able to play play a lot of rugby he he puts his body on the line so much that he gets injured and that's that's uh, the one reason why I went for like that going with this oak because like <laughs> you never know you could select him like oh yeah billy starting eighth man next week you know in a six nations game against ireland and then he has like a, a week before he plays with saracens and breaks his arm <laughs> how just, many times has he broken his i think he's broken both his arms twice each i don't know mm. he's so physical yeah. that's why yeah, he's, yeah but the thing is you, you can't really rely on him although I, I definitely have him as my starting eight and if he gets injured then cj will be my starting eight ahead of felato do you have felato on your well, spot well, the thing is, if I'm only taking 31, I'm taking two eight men, and that's Billy and CJ. I'm not taking three eight men. Oh, so you sure. left? So you didn't even take Falatar? I left Falatar out. I don't. I wow. don't need three eight men. I think I think Falatar will definitely be on the plane. Um, yeah, because they're not going to select 31. They're going to select like 45. 45. If I could select so... 45, then best believe I'd have Undergill and Falatar and who knows yeah. who else. True, true. Even Tipperidge. No no I'd have Tipperidge. I rate Tipperidge. I don't know why you don't, Jay. I, th- I think he's such a good. I think he's good on, on attack. He's, I think he's good on attack, but I just don't. I don't think. I don't like his defense get, defensive game. I just feel. On the ground, he's, he's such a good steal. Yeah, he's good on the ground and he steals in that, but it's. I don't know. I just don't rate him on defense. I think he's. I think he's weak in that in that position. But yeah, maybe I'll be proven wrong. But that was, on a forty-five man squad, would you have Justin Tipper? No, I I would in a forty-five man squad. I would take him. I'd take him if I could take what? So we've got five loose forwards. If we could take eight loose forwards with a forty-five man squad, Tipperidge would be in my squad. Fatatau would be in my squad. Underhill, and Underhill would be in my squad. It'll be hard for me to to pick Hamish Watson and Curry still in that, and Tipperick. I'd have to go and look. I just don't rate them. So, for me, it would be very difficult. I have to go and I have to look and see. Anyway, um, who did you guys go at nine? Uh, your scrum ass. Stuart, do you want to start us off? Um, yeah, no, I spoke about him a bit last week. Uh, he's West. I rate him. I rate him big time. Big guy. Good ball carrier. Got to kick um I, I, I went with him as my starter you call him uh, a big guy maybe bigger than well, you but he's not big yeah, <laughs> I guess. um gareth davies yeah and i went with okay. welshies but both both solid scrummies and for experience and i still think he's got a little bit to offer even though he had a bad year last year i went connor murray yeah who's your starter Reese webb Probably Reese Webb. I've got Reese Webb, Gareth Davies, Connor Murray. That's oh, my one, wow. two, three. I've flirted a lot with the oak named Cooney. Um, yeah, but he's at the moment Murray's keeping him out of the team. So Yeah. He's not well, he's no, not I getting do, he's like not getting him, enough though. game time. Yeah, he's I I've, like I've, him. I've seen I've seen like um a lot of footage of him like that, but that's the problem. He's fighting into that so well to topple Connor Murray. Um, Jay, who did you go with as your nines? So, your scrum offs? I've, so I've gone the same as Stuart, but not in but not in that order. I've gone okay. Connor Murray starting. Up. Like oh. obviously he's had a bad year. Um, with the whole Ireland team has been pretty bad, but just his experience in South Africa and just his his kicking game and, and the, the way he reads game it reminds me a lot of Free Dupree. Um, big boy, strong. Um. And then I've gone uh, Gareth Davies because I like his impact. And then obviously we spoke about Reese Webb last week, and now that he's back and he's available, then he'd have to be in that squad of um, the line squad of 31. Uh, I do like Luke McGrath, but like you say, he's sort of not getting looked in at Ireland at the moment. Um, but yeah, those are those same as Stuart, but just in different orders. Yeah, I had. Um... I had uh, the same sort of match data three lineup as you. 
I also went to Conor Murray starting. And then uh, Gareth Davis said, I just think he gives you a lot of um, I wouldn't have starting. And then um, the third I picked, which might be, was different of both of them, but I went a little younger, but I went um, with Thomas Williams from Wales. Tomos. Tomos. Thomas Tomos. He had a decent. I just think uh, we're back dec- in Davies. Decent. He's, he's just not going to yeah, get Yeah. You guys just like, as soon as you guys were talking, I was thinking, mm, is he going to play enough? No, that's why. I, that's why. I cho- that's why I didn't. I, I would have. I would have had McGrath ahead of um, Webb because I, I already rate him. But if if you're not getting selected yeah. for Ireland, then you're definitely not going to get a look in at the Lions. Yeah, that is true. But not fairly similar. But I, I think your yeah, experience was. I think Conor Murray's got to start for me at least. Um, number. Number 10, if all three of you don't have the same starter, it's going to be a fight. Jay, maybe you don't. I've, I've got an <laughs> Farrell 10. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, I did. Uh, for me, I think it's a waste to play him at, at 12. There's some really good sure. senses. senses uh, or in saying that, I, I battled to, to, to... I chose three senses and I went with someone that's sort of utility, but we'll get to that. But but no, definitely, I think he's brilliant at 10. Wasted at 12, in my opinion. I think the, the fact that he can play that 12, though, well, that, that affected my selections. My squad selection. Yeah, there. it allowed me to, to choose a, a utility player as yeah. well. Yeah, I probably went the same route as you. Yeah. I just think I counted him. I counted Faddle as a ten and a twelve in my squad. If that makes okay. sense. But we'll get that. We'll get that. Yeah, well, um, I've I've got him as my starting ten. Um, yeah. But like both of you have alluded to, he can play inside center. I a hundred percent agree with Jay. Um, he's, he's wasted at twelve, unless you've got maybe like a six in a ten four years ago. Um, but. But now with the flowers that we've got, he wasted it at 12. So he would be my starting flower, 100%. Um, Stuart, who's... So you have Owen Faddell. I know exactly yeah. who your backup is. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Go for it. Finn Russell. <laughs> of course it is. You swayed me on it big time. Uh, ben Russell, man, he's, he, he's, he's electric. Yeah. Um, I love watching um, that guy. I really, I really, like, in the beginning, he was uh, error prone. You know, he'd, he'd try he'd try one or two many fancy things, maybe a double skip pass and he'd get intercepted or whatever. But he's, he's grown up a bit, he's, he's matured a bit, and, and he's playing some phenomenal rugby. He's matured, but he can't even be in the squad because he's because he's fighting with his coach. Just because <laughs> Look, can't, I can't have, that, about can't have that attitude in my line squad. And anyway, not talking about think, politics. And I think he looks brilliant in a in a in a very mediocre uh, Scottish side. I went uh, well. He he's 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 spelling for oh, well, the way he's playing in France is he's no. He's no scrub, for lack of a better word. You know, he does he does put a lot of game time. Can play at fifteen as well. Well, I've seen him play at fifteen, um, but I don't think he will go as a fifteen. He will go as an out and out flyer, coming off so the Farrell, bench. So Farrell breaks down with the injury, and your thirty round squad. He's your backup. To he's win my flyer. Unbelievable. He's my flyer. Well, I, I I have something later that will shock you guys, but uh, I've got yeah. I've, I've got a lot later. <laughs> um, Jay, who is your backup then? I've gone with Gareth Anscombe. Tom, yeah, Tom Wales, awesome. definitely. He's my. I rate that chap, and he and he and he's had to wait a long time to get game time, and he's been playing uh, exceptional rugby. Unfortunately, he got injured before the World Cup in a game that shouldn't have even been played. Um, but yeah, the guy's the guy's playing great rugby. His versatility also. Yeah, plays fullback. Yeah, I know. Very versatile. 
uh, Anske. Oh, right, I Anske. went. I'd be right, Anske. Yeah, I think he plays. To me, he plays better from fullback, or when he has more space, he seems to be more influential. At, I think well, he's a bit maybe. boring at fullback. To be fair, I think I think he by running the game is what's good for him. Uh, it's worked well for them, like um, with Anscombe and Bigger. Because he comes, yeah, you know, he comes in, joins the line, and and he can come in 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 different phases and and take that role on. Yeah. Um, I actually I got swayed, Jay. Uh, Stuart, Stuart forced me to do this, but uh, no, he didn't force me. Um, I <laughs> went with Finn Russell as my backup. Force you to do anything? <laughs> no, you didn't. Um, no, he's like I said, Jay. He's he's quite a player. He's something something to after this go and have a look at. Watch a couple of Finn Russell highlights. I've watched him. I don't need to. I don't sit around wanking over him. He's <laughs> He's not, <laughs> not, joke, he's, not in, <laughs> not, he's not in that level, unfortunately. I think, uh, no. I think I think I think Jared, like if you if you don't like somebody from the start, it doesn't matter if they score four hundred tries in their career, you will <laughs> never like them. You've just Probably. got that like stubbornness that if you don't like them from the start, they are done. They are dead to you and you're never going to give them another chance. No, I don't think so. There's, I can probably think of a few that have that have proven me wrong. And do you like them? Yeah. I used I no. never rated I never rated Skulk Burger when he started. And then and then after like a few games I realized what a phenomenal player this guy's gonna be. Can't believe you doubted Skulk. Great. Yeah, I doubted Skulk when he was twenty, because but it was more to do with them not selecting Watson, who played played a few months, started playing a few months before Skulk came on the scene. So that's it, because he was a Stormers. He yeah, was at Stormers. Exactly. <laughs> that's the main reason. You that's tried the to main reason. Shots. Yeah. No, but he proved okay. me wrong, man. Proved me wrong. Uh, Russell will be the second. <laughs> no. Nah. Centers. to prove you wrong. No. Uh, if you were I'm, choosing I'm, three, I'm I'm just going to go through all four of my centers because go. I just think it's easier that way. Uh, yeah. So starting inside is going to be Tuilagi. Starting outside is Jonathan Davies. If you two hundred percent. Then my bench inside is Sam Johnson. Okay. And my bench outside, who's a utility player, is Elliot Davy. He can play outside centre, he can play left wing, and he can play fullback. Trey, who was your, who was your? So, so I've got the same four? as same as Stuart, starting with Tuilagi and Davies. Um, but, and I had um, I had Elliot Daly as covering covering thirteen, um, and that helped by having Farrell being able to cover twelve. And yeah. then I'm surprised that uh, Stuart never went with him, but I went with Hugh Jones from Scotland. I really cool. rate Hugh Jones. I think I think he's phenomenal. Um, I rate him too, but Sam Johnston is as Johnson, sorry, as uh, as taken over Hugh Jones in that in that um, in that tall jersey for for Scotland. It's just, uh, I don't know, I don't, I don't see, I, I know Elliot Daly can play that 13 in but maybe you guys used it to fit in, but I didn't take him as a 13. I went with um, Tuolagi and Davis starting, obviously, yeah. and then my backups is Johnson for 12 and Ring Rose for 13. Not bad. I like Ring Rose. I just, I think he'll make the wider yeah. squad. Um, yeah, I think from a bench perspective, having somebody like Daly, you can play three positions and well, you can play them all pretty well. Um, I had to go for a little bit of versatility with a 31 man squad, and somebody that can play outside center, left wing, and full back is, is pretty versatile. No, oh, indeed, 100%. Um, no, Elliot Daly is definitely well, he's in my 31 man squad, so um, but it's this is where. I think all of us might be slightly different and how we looked at it and 
But uh, do you guys want well, yeah, to? Cause... I think with outside backs, it's, 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 it's tricky because you've got to... I went with who can play right, right wing and left wing and full back, you know, sort of effectively, as opposed to just um, wings, because you can get like, you know, three wings, but if all of them are left wings, then who are you going to play on the right, if you know what I mean? No. Who did you go with? Start us off. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna go run. I'm just gonna run through my whole five. Yeah. Um, not in any order, and I'll tell you the order once I've said it. Um, okay. Gareth Anscom, Sherdog, Anthony Watson, Liam Williams, George North. I'm hoping. I'm really hoping he's fit. So. So Anscom yeah. can play fly half and fullback. North can play right wing. Hog is out and out fullback. Watson can play right wing or fullback, and Williams can play left wing or fullback. So effectively, thought... in my back five, I've got three fullbacks, two right wings, two left wings. Who would you I start? You I thought you didn't rate him, um, Anthony Watson. As a right wing, he wouldn't be my first choice. North would be my first choice right wing. But because of his versatility at being able to play fullback, I went with Watson. I think I think Watson uh, Watson will be on that plane next year. Um, oh, yeah. so obviously their squad will be will be bigger. Um, excuse the pun. Um, but I did not I did not pick Watson in a thirty one man squad at least. Um, Stuart, who would you start? So Hog at fullback. Hundred percent. I'd start North at right wing, and I'd start Liam Williams at left wing. Yep. Can't argue with that. Uh, Jay, who did you go with? Yeah, so I went with... Um, I went with... Um, George North, Anthony Watson. As my wingers. What? As my right wingers. Um, okay. And then I went with... Um, Stuart Hogg, Liam Williams... And I went with Jack Knowles. Okay. So okay. there was a few. It was tough, but I, I like Jack Knowles. I think he, I think he, he's got that aggressiveness. He's he, he's small, but he's but he's strong and and and, he, and he's and he's fast. I just think he can score a try some tries that that not many players can do. So. And to be but, fair, he can he can play outside centre. Yeah, and he can play, I've, and he covers that sense position too. Yeah, I've seen him at thirteen a lot for England. Um, I had to fit Anscombe in my team because I do want Finn Russell on the plane <laughs> because I do rate him. But <laughs> I had to have Anscombe. I had to have at least three fly halves. So I went with Anscombe rather as an outside back because he can he can cover fly half and full back. Go and I don't need more wings because I've got Daly that can play left wing and I've got Williams that can play left wing and I've got North and Watson that can play right wing and I've got Daly Anscombe, Hogg Watson and Williams that can play full back so for me for me I never chose I never thought about choosing an extra half because if one of them gets injured it's only a it's only a a, a 12 hour flight and time, time zones are are very similar, so it's not going to affect them too much. So, I uh, I didn't think about trying to find someone to fit in there, but then I didn't have to worry. I didn't have to. I didn't have to think about trying to trying to get one in there. Okay, well, think about it now. Anson what, gets injured. Anson gets injured. Who are you flying over? Ooh, I have to think about that. Maybe Finn Russell. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it was in my case, I'm with Farrell and Finn Russell. I'll probably, I, I don't know, for me, it would be Anscom will come over, but that's my squad. I'll have um, to go, I'll have to go look at this Finn Russell now and see what you guys have been you have doing, to... do, what things you've been doing at home the last week while on YouTube. So, um, Google, my... Google. Hold on, Jay. Google Sam Johnson as well. No, I know Johnson. He he was close. Like 
but I just I rate Hugh Jones, man. I just think he he can play thirteen, and he's to me. I see Jones more as a thirteen. I see him more as a thirteen as well. To be fair, but he's in my squad that he can cover twelve or thirteen. That's what I like about him. And then I've got Davies starting with Turlogi can also cover twelve, thirteen. I've got Farrell's at twelve, mm. so Elliot North can cover team. thirteen. I've got, I've got, I've got. I think, but Farrell is the inside. I've got Tulagi inside, outside. I've got Davies outside. I've got Johnson inside, and I've got Daly outside. So I've got two, three inside centers, and three outside centers. Like I said, North can cover the thirteen position. Worst case scenario, but North is my starting right. Um, he would be my starting right wing as well. Hopefully, Absolutely. he stays injury free. And then I had uh, Liam Williams would be my starting left wing. Stuart Hogg as my fifth. And then I had. Three. Yeah. Three. I had uh, Elliot Daly. Um, and the other one I had. So who's your um, so who's your five? So North Williams, um, Daly, uh, Stuart Hogg, and then I also went Josh Adams from Wales. Okay. Wow. As my pick, I, I told you I don't rate Anthony Watson. So, but Watson was the closest to getting into the squad. I rate Watson more than I rate Adams. Yeah, I don't rate Adams at all. Yeah, I've, <laughs> I've, I've seen him. He had a, he had a quite, quite a good year last year. So yeah, he's got seven tries in the World Cup. So I mean, he was the top try scorer, but exactly. I think like four Trust. of those were two meter dot downs. So that's you what don't... you need from a so winger. You think, so you think he's better than Jack Knowles? <laughs> See, this, or, is, this, is, or, this is this is a squad. This is a squad of reference players. Or Jordan. Who you or would Jordan. Feel. Lo- Jordan Lamar. Lamar, he was so close to making my exactly. team. I, I was, I was just I about to say. Really, only play fullback here. I was just about to say, Elliot Daly. Wing as well. Yeah, yeah Elliot I Daly. Take Stockdale as a wing before I take Lamar. Oh, Lamar. Who, who yeah. will you take? Jacob so, uh, Stockdale. Yeah, Jacob Stockdale yeah. came very close yeah, to my team good, as well. Yeah. I take him um, if if I needed a wing, like if I if if. One of the wings were injured, like an arc night winger. I'd I'd probably fire Stockdale over. I also like that, but he hasn't got much game time. But he's a youngster that in the next year, it'd be interesting to see how he does. Is um that Louis Reese uh, Zamet plays for being um, but he's only like nineteen or eighteen, playing big boy plays for in England. Um, have you seen have you have you seen much of him? No, I've got to check it out. Yeah, it's Louis Reese, Louis Reese, Reese, um, half and Samet. He's like top try scorer. He plays for Johan Ackerman's team. Um, Gloucester. Gloucester, yeah. And he's eight. I think he's eighteen years old. Yeah, he's... nineteen, eighty-seven kilos, one eighty-eight meters. Yeah, he's he's good man. Okay, I'll have a look at him. I'll have a look Jordan, at him. Jordan Lamar was very close to Lamar. Lamar. I don't know. Sorry, I butchered the name. Lama. 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 Jordan Lama, yeah. Lama, Lamar. I don't know. Um, But he was very close, but I just thought. Day, daily's versatility. I can't leave Daily daily at the team. Um, I think if... Yeah, so we, I, couldn't, I couldn't leave Anskim out. Is there any players that you feel... Well, we just spoke about quite a few players, but any players that maybe we looked over in any position that you guys can think of? I think Joe Launchbury is going to feel... I think Launchbury is uh, unlucky because of the versatility of Laws. I think Launchbury is unlucky. And I think that's been his career, basically, with England. It's mm-hmm. that versatility of Laws kind of keeps Launchbury off. Um, I also had... Um, also was very keen on uh, Leon Brown. From Wales, the prop. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Quite like him. Like the look of him. Lewis Lewis Ludlam from England. Flanker. Yeah, and, uh, maybe I haven't seen enough of him, but no. Yeah, go look at Lewis Ludlam. Yeah, he's, he's very good. And then Ross Mar- 
how do you say so? Mariotti. Mariotti. Yeah, he, he, he uh, he, just he, Mariotti. Yeah. Mm. Actually, he he actually came more close than Andale squad. Sorry. And then uh, <laughs> and then I had Sam Johnson as a special mention as well on my bench. Yeah. Well, I mean, on my bench as as a center. Basically. Yeah. I think he'll make it though. I think I rate him. I, I I think he's phenomenal. I think he'll make the squad. Yeah, but. But I was just trying to fit. Like 12, though, just like, I was just trying to fit daily in there. Yeah, I think daily inevitably has to go. I um, think he might even start. They might even start him if Tuilagi's injured. They might start this boy at twelve. With Johnson. Mm. Yeah, I think if Tuilagi's injured, I think Johnson is the, probably going to be the first choice inside. Um, I don't think they're going to look past Farrell. Although, in, in saying that... Uh, they might play um, Farrell there. Eddie Jones played Farrell at 12, and then... Um, what's his name? Gatlin played Farrell at 12 as well. Mm. Yeah, but so, I'm telling you now, I... I, it, I well, I, I wouldn't mind, because obviously I want the box to win, but I wouldn't be surprised if they put George Ford on the plane. I don't no, hate him at all, but... I don't think they will. I won't be surprised if they do, considering that the two of them played for what last three years at least two two years together in that ten twelve. I so... think he might make the plane, but he's not going to make um, starting team for any of the tests. Oh yeah, hundred percent. For me, you've got to start... start for them against like the Stormers and the Lions and nonsense. He's you've definitely start... not going to start in the test. It's, it's, it, it will be. It, it has to be Farrell at ten. Farrell, and he plays eighty minutes in all three tests. Yeah, and a fit, uh, and a fit to a luggy at twelve, and a fit Jonathan Davies at thirteen. See, that's the thing. Like both, like all, all three of our choices of of inside and outside centers starting, are mm. so touch and go. When it comes to injuries, mm. that you could yeah. actually have. You know, Farrell at inside and Daly at outside, starting with Ben Russell, Russell at ten. And Russell at ten. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or Anscom. Anscom no, hasn't had a bad day. Yeah. You I, I tell you what, Ben Russell. Don't be shocked if he starts at ten. With Farrell at twelve. Well, there's if not much. Like injured. There's not much out there. To be fair, no. there's not. For me to try and choose a number three. 10, it's not, I don't really rate Russell, but there's, I'd have to go look yeah, but, more at him, but there's not much out there. There's not much else out there. Yeah, I'd but the other 10s are all... i definitely well, take Russell ahead of um, Ford. I really can't, really don't like Ford. Don't, I think he's so boring. That's the thing, is Ford is the other 10 that I can think of that we haven't mentioned. Um, no, then, I would never mention other, him. But then the I other think... two is um, the other two is both old um, on the older side of the scale in bigger and sexton. So yeah, but big is big is much younger than six, and I think quite a yeah. few years younger. Yeah, so a few years that. younger. But I think what, bigger is... will make the plane. I don't think sexton will. Mm. I really don't. Oh, if, but if they're going to take, if they're going to take special mention. There's a big special mention, and I'm 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 so glad none of us have him in our teams, uh, and that's Johnny May. I don't Do you know what? what? He's great yes. for England, but so yeah, many people I'm rate Johnny so May. So glad nobody's got him in the team because so I many people rate, rate so no, many people rate, rate Johnny May. But I was gonna say I did put him down a special mention, and I was gonna say that he's I'm, I guarantee you he'll definitely get on the plane. He'll make the plane, but I don't think he'll start any of the games. I don't think he'll make the plane. <coughs> I don't think he'll go. There's too many. There's too many good um, players available in that position. In those, in a, yeah, I don't think he'll make it. Mm, pretty interesting. So I'll take it looks. I'll take Stockdale. I'll take Stockdale. I'll take uh, Lama or Lamore, however you say his name. Because it's gonna be, they're gonna have a bigger squad. I'll take those boys: yeah. Watson, Daly, Liam Williams, Hogg, and Skim. I rate Tim. Williams. Uh, yes, it's Williams. Got, he's, Liam he's Williams a solid is brilliant. 
Um, you've got Jack Knowles. There's too many. You've got this young Wales boy that'll be 19 next year. He might be, if he continues this form, it's going to be hard for, for them not to consider him. Um, the Gloucester boy. The, yeah. What, Tompkins? Louis something. Uh, oh, no. It's, it's Louis... Louis... Um, Z- Zamet. Yeah, Louis Rees Zamet. Yeah, he's, he's good. I'm going to watch a bit of him. He's only got 13 games for Gloucester, so... Yeah. This looks about... Right, ten, if we if ten tries in thirteen games, that's that's not too bad. <laughs> that's that's insane. <laughs> that's not too bad for a nineteen year old. No, nah, he's been he's, he's, de- he's definitely making the plane. No, I don't know if he'll make Lions. But he's no, definitely I'm, I'm one just... for, definitely one coming up for Wales. Yeah. Sorry. If they play him opposite north with um Williams at fifteen, big a really good attacking back three. Yeah, See, I, I see because I, I do, I do think Halfpenny's done now. No, yeah, I'd, I'd have him in the mix in the squad, but not, not starting. No, what the Wales squad? Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. And I wouldn't have Halfpenny for Lions. No, you definitely don't make my Lions too. I've got enough kicking. Um, if we were gonna pick a team, looks pretty easy. If we're gonna. Pick Stage 23, the uh, for Napolo as your loose head, mm-hmm. Jamie George as your starting hooker, uh, t- tag tag Rikishi for long, um, as your tight head, Tad, it's Tad, it's not Tad, pronounced. Tad, my fault, that's uh, because of the way it's spelt, you know what I mean. Uh, okay. Mario Itoji as four, um, Ryan at five, I agree, and both of you went that, I had Ryan off. CJ at six, and both of you had Navili and um, Billy Villapolo at eight. Uh, mm-hmm. Starting, I think Connor Murray would probably be the one, and Gareth Davis off the bench, according to what we pick. Uh, Owen Farrell at 10, Tualangi Davis unanimously at centre. Um, then the back three, I think all of us got the same. Williams at left wing, North at right, and Stuart Hogg at 15. Is that correct? Anybody pick anything different? I had Liam. I had. I had actually yeah. Jack. I had Jack Knowles as a starter. Over Liam Williams. Um. I had. I had Jack. No. I had um Jack Knowles, George North as my wings, and Stuart Hogwood. Liam Williams coming off the bench. And Watson Thank you. in the squad. I think with the the, the style of play. That's so we know Hog. Because... We know Hog is the fullback. Hog is definitely. We all we know have... North is the right wing. So, who 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 did you guys had Williams? So Williams makes the starting lineup then. Yeah, I oh, went Williams is my starting left. Yeah. Um, and then the bench, the hooker would probably be the one. Um, yeah, that's about it. Looking forward to next week. We'll do uh, the South African, the South African 31 men squad that we think will play in this test series, and that, that's going to be exciting, man. And an absolutely whitewash this team, but um, <laughs> and uh, we don't know. Whitewash don't know. is a push. Yeah, it's it's going to be a tough. One. So we just anyway, the team is it's, it's it's solid. Yeah, their team is is definitely solid. But, uh, I think if if we had to present this to Gatlin, he would he'd probably accept. Well, thanks for doing my work. work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's very very good team, and um, it's quite scary actually. Well, there you have it. If you're enjoying the content we're putting out, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to leave a like. See you guys next week.